We're working with the Bernina 880 embroidery side of the machine and we're talking about hoops. So there's lots of different hoop sizes available for this machine. You're noticing there are three hoops that come with it, including the most common used one, the oval hoop. So when you pick a design, the design will always come in and it will tell you which hoop that design will fit in. So it, sometimes if it's a really small design, it'll come up with the small hoop on screen. Now, if you're not planning on using the small hoop, you will need to always touch the hoop feature and then tell the machine which hoop you will be using. You'll find that all the hoops are showing here that are available for this machine. And if not all the hoops are showing, you might need a update, which you can do uh, yourself from Bernina's website, or you can have your local Bernina store do it for you. Because there are hoops such as for the hat hoop, the uh, larger ones like a midi hoop, a maxi and jumbo hoop. So definitely other options. So if you have had other Berninas and have bought some of those hoops, they will fit on this machine. Now there is some older, older Bernina hoops that it's not the same, but you will find that most of your current, current line, these hoops are exactly the ones that will go from module to module or machine to machine. But as you notice that as the playground changes, you get bigger or smaller areas that a design will fit on. So here's a little tip. You'll find that if you do follow the machine's recommendation, for example, this fitting in the medium hoop, you will use less stabilizer. You'll also get a better stitch out. So if you're doing a little tiny design in a really big hoop, you do have a little bit of play that you might not have if you use the smaller sizes. So just kind of keep that in mind as you pick your hoop sizes. I'm all for the saving of the stabilizer. That's the reason I would pick the right hoop, but you you just have to make sure that your right hoop is selected and the machine actually knows which hoop you've selected because once you put it on these little bumps right here are all different on all the hoops so it can tell by its little sensor if that is actually the hoop you have actually attached so it is quite smart so you can't there's really it's really hard to do something you're not supposed to do with this machine i think that's why technology keeps improving is so it makes it easier more enjoyable for every time you sit down to embroider